Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a really versatile bag that I've been super excited to try out for a long time. And the bag we're gonna be taking a look at is the Prima Backpack from Boundary Supply. And so this is a really versatile bag that I'm not even quite sure how to categorize. You know, it's a really great daily bag. It also has a lot of features that make it a great camera bag. And it has a good amount of expandability that may also make it a good travel backpack. So it's kind of meant to be the one bag that is gonna work for all sorts of different purposes. And so Boundary Supply doesn't just look at the bag on its own, it calls it the Prima system. And the reason for that is for the accessories that it includes. You know, the bag has a high focus on modularity, which, you know, really speaks to me in the way that I like to pack. So I really like all the kind of nice little tweaks that the bag includes and the accessories that it comes with as well. And so we're definitely going to take a look at the bag itself and how it works just as a regular bag and as a camera bag. And then we're also going to dive into the system itself and just talk a little bit about how everything works all together and what I thought of the Boundary system as a whole. But so far, I've really been enjoying testing this bag out. I'm really excited to share all the different features with you guys. And so let's just go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the Prima system from Boundary Supply. So just starting out with the overall aesthetic of the bag, I really like the look of the bag. I think it has a really kind of outdoorsy look. I love top loading bags with kind of these buckles on the outside. I think they're really, you know, kind of versatile and easy to load up. The bag itself is made out of a really durable feeling kind of fabric material. It feels like it's going to keep water out pretty well. It has really good quality YKK zippers all around the bag. A lot of the buckles are kind of made out of this really nice metal material and there's a there's a really good use of magnets all around the bag which, which we'll dive into in just a little bit. But overall just the build quality feels really sturdy on this bag. It really feels like it's well made and like it's going to hold up well over the long term. You know it's a little bit on the heavier side at three and a half to four pounds just for the bag but that really speaks to the quality of the materials that are being used. I really like the form factor. The bag manages to stay pretty slim, you know, even though it's a little bit bigger bag. The bag has a capacity of 25 to 30 liters, depending on how much you expand it out. And so, you know, that's a pretty good size for daily carry. It might be a little bigger than what some people might like, but you know, just due to the different accessories that you might be carrying with this bag, it kind of makes sense that it's a little bit bigger. I didn't really find too many issues with the size. I thought it was, you know, still really slim. I love how close it stays to your back, even when it's pretty full. And I love how you can adjust the capacity with the straps that the bag includes. So overall, I really enjoyed wearing it. I think it looks really sleek. It definitely looks like a bag that'll fit in well walking around the city or outdoors if you go hiking or to, you know, some faraway location. It's really gonna, it really feels like it's gonna fit in well. And so just continuing on with the aesthetics and the quality of the bag, it has a really nice handle at the top here that feels like it's gonna hold up well to a lot of different weight. It's really comfortable to hold and it doesn't stick out a lot, which doesn't ruin the, which is great for keeping kind of the clean aesthetic of the bag. On the bottom of the bag, it, it has this sort of kind of tarpaulin feeling material. It's pretty hard. It really feels like it's gonna protect the items on the bottom of your bag. So if you put this down in a puddle or something, this feels pretty waterproof, like it's gonna help keep your stuff dry. One thing I did notice about this kind of tarpaulin material here on the bottom is that it seems to scratch fairly easily. So when I actually took the bag out upon receiving it, I noticed that it already had some scratches. You know, that probably just happened while the bag was getting manufactured and packed up. But at least the material feels durable and like it's gonna keep your material safe. And so the bottom of the bag has two compression straps and these are really nice. You see these on a lot of camera bags in my experience. This is a good place for putting a tripod if you're taking one with you or if you want to roll up, you know, like a sweater or a yoga mat or something. This is a really good place. These are nice and adjustable. You can even use these to compress the bag a little bit if you're not using as much stuff. And it's really nice that you can actually detach these clips. So each one of the straps has a metal hook at the end of it that feels nice and sturdy. And you know, it's, re it's really nice that you can actually separate these out. I really don't like when the compression straps are fully attached and you just kind of have to loosen them to get whatever you need to in there. So it's nice that these are detachable. One thing I did notice is that the loops where these hooks attach to are really far inside the bag under this lip. So sometimes it can get a little tricky to hook and unhook these little, these little clips as you're trying to get your item into the bag. But overall, I just really like that it's actually removable and it's really nice to have these. Next up, I was really excited to see that the bag has a water bottle compartment on the outside. And so what I have here is the same water bottle that I've used in all my other daily bag videos. And so that fits in there really nicely. I like that the pocket is expandable. So it has this little elastic here to allow you to put something a little bit thicker in here. So if you have a bigger water bottle or if you have a tripod or something you want to put, you know, it'll expand out to give you a little bit more space. If you have something a little bit taller, they've also included this detachable hook here. Similar to the straps on the bottom, it has the same little metal hook and it's very easy to detach here. So if you have something taller and you wanna put your tripod here, an umbrella or something like that, this is a great spot for it. And so behind the water bottle compartment, there's actually like a little secret compartment here that's really nice. It has a very well protected YKK zipper with an aqua guard. And so this is a really small pocket. It seems to be the perfect spot to put maybe like a charger or something like that. So that's currently what I have here is a portable battery. And so, you know, the, the pocket itself, it has about the same depth as the water bottle compartment. So, you know, it's pretty spacious. 
Moving on to the straps in the back panel, this is an area where the bag really excels. This is one of the more comfortable bags that I've used. I think the straps are super well made. They're extremely padded. They're nice and thick. They have this really comfortable kind of meshy material here that's really gonna help prevent moisture from building up. I really like how wide the straps are too, so it makes it feel really comfortable when you're wearing it with a lot of weight around the city. I also like the shape of the straps. I like that they're nice and contoured and that they're not just straight, so that helps add a little bit of comfort and fit. It's also really nice that the bag comes with an adjustable or removable sternum strap. And one thing that I really like about the sternum strap is that it actually is magnetized. So, you know, instead of a traditional clip, this clip just kind of, you put it close and it clips in very easily. So I really like the use of magnets throughout the bag. And I'll call out a few more areas where they've used these magnets, but I just think this is implemented super well and it's just kind of fun to clip and unclip. So really great job there overall. The straps also feature adjustable load lifters here. So if you want the, so once you put the bag on, it's really nice to have that little bit of extra control over how you want the bag to sit on your back. So I really like the load lifters on bag like this where I'll probably be carrying a lot of heavy things because it allows me to really pull the bag close to my back, which makes it a lot easier to hold all that weight. And I also like that the company has kind of put a lot of emphasis on keeping the straps in check because there are a lot of different things going on with the bag. And so it has these little like elastic bands to help keep the, the straps from flopping all over the place and just keep an overall neater look, which is a really nice touch, I thought. And so moving on to the back paneling, I was really impressed with just how comfortable this bag was to wear. The back is super well padded. It's got really comfortable kind of almost foamy material here in the back. It's got that same kind of meshy material that the straps had. So this is really gonna help kind of absorb moisture and prevent it from building up as you're walking around throughout the day. I also like how elevated the padding is to allow for a lot of airflow to come in. You know, eventually with enough weight, I think your back's always gonna get a little wet, but I think they've done a really good job of helping to mitigate that here. As I mentioned, this padding is really elevated and there's a lot of area here for air to flow. So really well thought out and just really comfortable to wear overall. The bag also includes a removable waist strap, which I thought was really cool. I love when the bags allow you to actually remove the waist strap as opposed to just tucking it away somewhere. And so the waist strap itself is pretty good. I wish the padding would come out just a little bit further as opposed to just having the strap you know, be the thing that supports your waist the most. But I think it was a pretty, you know, well implemented design. I love that you can actually remove the waist strap. And as we'll see a little bit later, you can use it as a shoulder strap on the removable verge case that holds the camera. So just a really clever implementation there. And I really love how the bag kind of allows you to get multi-use out of different things. On top of that, the bag also has a suitcase pass through here. So if you're traveling with this and a carry-on suitcase, it's really nice that, you know, you can pass this through the suitcase handle and rest the bag on your suitcase. So you don't have to wear it on your back as you're walking around the airport or anything like that. And you can just take a break. And I really like how well implemented this is. It really feels secure on the suitcase and like it's not gonna fall over. While we're here on the suitcase pass through, one thing that the bag included is a little side handle here to help pick the bag up from the side. And this is the one area of the bag that I felt was a little disappointing. You know, compared to all the other quality materials and design that was used in the bag, this kind of feels a little bit off. It's almost, it, it's almost looks like it's from a different bag. It's just really thin. It doesn't feel like it's very comfortable to hold. And honestly, I, I feel like it might be the, the, the first thing that would be likely to tear on the bag after a long period of time, especially if you have a lot of weight in the bag. I wouldn't be comfortable picking the bag up and down using this little handle. So, you know, I really wish that they could have used the handle very similar to the one on the top. You know, that one is really sturdy and comfortable. And so it just seems a little strange to have opted for such a uh, flimsy side handle here. But I guess it's still nice to have something to grab the bag from the side if you need to pick it up from when you're putting it on your suitcase. Moving on to the pockets of the bag, what you'll notice as we go through the bag is that I've actually included all the same items that I've used in all my other daily bag videos. And uh, you know, the bag itself was able to hold everything very comfortably, as I mentioned earlier in the video. It has a 25 liter capacity, which is pretty big. So the first pocket I wanna take a look at is actually this kind of quick access pocket that it has on the flap. I love when bags have this sort of like just easy to access pocket. It's right at the top. It has a really nice YKK zipper with an aqua guard here. And it also has a little zipper garage here to help really ensure that water stays out. So if you wanna put something a little more sensitive in here, it feels like it's gonna be fine. I love the capacity of this pocket. And so even though this pocket looks pretty slim, I was very impressed with how much I was actually able to fit into here. And so, you know, it has all the items that I typically include in my quick access pocket. So just diving into the items that the, that the pocket has, I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses in their case. And then I have my lightning charger for my iPhone. And then I also have my AirPods in here. And so as you can see, there's just a good amount of like leftover space. The, the compartment itself can definitely fit a lot of stuff. I was really impressed. One thing to note with this compartment is that as you start expanding the capacity of the bag out, so once you start loosening these straps up a little bit, 
the fuller the bag gets, the harder it is to add items to this compartment. So, you know, I have a lot of space at the moment because I'm using the bag as a 25 liter bag. If I were to expand it to 30, I probably wouldn't be able to fit as many items in there. So just something to think about as you're packing the bag out and whether you care more about having the items quickly accessible through the quick access compartment or if you need to save some of that capacity for the main compartment if you're carrying a lot of stuff if you're traveling or something like that. So just small thing to note there, but overall the compartment holds a lot of stuff. I really like the green lining. It helps differentiate between the different items that I might have in there. One feature that I absolutely love is this keychain here. So the bag includes a removable keychain loop, which is one of my favorite things. I absolutely love how they implement it here. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the bag makes very clever use of magnets. And so this is just one of those things. So the bag has a really nice clip here in this pocket where you can detach the key fob. And so currently what I just have attached here is a little multi-tool with a clip and a screwdriver and things like that. But this is definitely something I could see myself attaching my keys to. You know, the way that it's positioned at the top pocket so it's easily accessible and the fact that it's easily removable and then easy to reattach with the magnets. Uh, I think this is one of the coolest implementations of a key fob that I've seen in you know any of the daily bags that I've looked at recently. So great job there overall. And so, as I mentioned, the compartment itself has a good amount of space. It also has an additional pocket on the back of the compartment that's separated by kind of a little magnetic closure here. And so this pocket has a nice soft kind of fleece lining. So this would be a great area to put your phone or something a little bit more delicate. So what I currently have in here is my Apple Magic Mouse. But I love that this pocket has this magnetic closure as well, so it helps keep everything organized. And so I really love the use of this magnet here to help keep the items in this area separated from the rest of the pocket. I love the kind of softer material that it has on the inside to help keep your delicates protected from scratches. And again, I just really think magnets are an awesome implementation. I wish more bags use them. And you know, just the only thing I would note here is that, you know, again, there is shared space in this pocket. So if you put something a little bit bulkier in this, you know, fleece lined pocket, it's gonna take some space away from the overall main volume here of the rest of the pocket. So next up, I wanna talk about the laptop compartment. I was really impressed with how well it was implemented. So at the, up at the top, it has a really well-protected zipper with a nice water guard. Again, all these are YKK. And I really love how easy it is to reach down and grab your laptop. And so before we actually dive into the laptop piece of the compartment, the first thing I wanna call out is this really cool removable accessory that the company has included called the Field Space. And so what this is, is an organizer for all your kind of tech accessories and all the EDC essentials that you might wanna carry with you during the day. And this again makes clever use of the magnetic aspects of the bag. So it has a really cool kind of clip here that allows it to be secure in the bag and it makes it very easy to reach down and pull it out. And so I think this is a really clever way to add a lot of extra organization to the bag and modularity. And so the field space itself has a few kind of mesh pockets that you can use for chargers and cables and things like that. These are all really quality, again, YKK zippers everywhere on the bag. It has a few slots for holding a pencil or a stylus. It has kind of these elastic bands for bigger cables. And then I love that it also provides protection for your tablet or you know even a thin laptop. So what I currently have in here is my iPad mini 2. And the inside of this compartment is padded and it has, you know, a nice soft fleece lining to help protect against scratches as well. And I really like that the field space has a magnetic closure at the top. So it just makes it really easy to just, you know, open and close and attach and disattach from the bag. So I really love the implementation here. And so I'll typically complain about backpacks that, you know, don't have a padded sleeve specifically for a tablet. And so I think this is a great alternative because it provides the protection that I'm typically looking for in a tablet, but it also gives me a way to organize some of these smaller things that I would typically want to have with me if I was working from a coffee shop or something. You know, just a really nice value add. And the great thing is that if you don't really think you're going to use this or you don't want to carry a tablet with you on your day to day, you can just leave this at home and it doesn't affect the bag at all. But, you know, again, Considering that it's just included with the bag at its normal price, I think this is an awesome value and I really love that the bag went ahead and included this. The laptop compartment itself is also really well implemented. It's really big. It definitely will hold up to a 15 inch laptop, possibly even a 17 inch. There's a lot of leftover space there. It comes out a pretty good amount. I wouldn't say that this could fit a super bulky laptop, so that might be something to keep an eye out for if you have you know, a larger gaming laptop or something like that. But overall, I really like the laptop compartment. It feels like it's pretty well padded. It has that same soft fleece lining that we've seen in a couple different places on the bag. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro and that fits in there super comfortably. There's tons of leftover space, as I mentioned. It really feels like the computer is gonna be kept protected, and I like that the pocket is elevated, which really helps keep the laptop protected when you're putting the bag down on the ground or something like that, or if you happen to drop it. So 
It's something I wish companies did on all their laptop compartments, but you know, it's not that common. And so I really love to see that Boundary Supply has gone ahead and implemented that to really help keep your laptop safe. And so for the purposes of this part of the video, I haven't used the Verge case that comes with the bag. And I'll go ahead and talk about that a little bit later in the video. But I really like that the bag has this side access compartment. So obviously this is where you would typically, you know, reach in and grab your camera if you were using the Verge case or most camera bags have kind of some sort of side access. But I really just love that this allows me to access the main area of my bag without having to unlatch the top. So it's really cool that I can just reach in and grab a book or my notebook or my headphones or something like that, you know, while I'm wearing the bag or when I put it down. It's it's a little bit easier to unzip this piece than having to, you know, unclip everything and then just dig through the back from the top. So I really love the quick access that this provides me here. Another cool feature is that it has an RFID protected compartment here. And so, you know, this is a nicely sized compartment where you can put your wallet or a passport or something like that. Currently, I just have my nomadic wallet, but there's plenty of leftover space here for anything delicate that you want to keep with you. And it's nice how the compartment is kind of hidden here on the flap and also easy to access. So, you know, like me where I have my wallet in there, I can just open the bag really quickly and grab it and then easily put it away. So really nice implementation there. And I just love bags that allow me to grab my stuff from the side without having to like take it off or anything like that. And so even though I like having that side access compartment, I have to say I'm kind of in love with these metallic and magnetic clips that Boundary Supply has included on the bag. It reminds me a little bit of the clip that the Peak Design Everyday Backpack has, but I actually like these better. I think they clip in more securely and they're a little bit easier to just use. I, I trust these more than the one on the Peak Design Backpack, and I'm a little obsessed with attaching them and disattaching them. They're just so sat they just click so satisfyingly when you take them off and they're so easy to remove. They have these nice little pull tabs here that you pull up to release the magnet and the buckle, and it's just super simple. It works smoothly. I've never never had a problem attaching and disattaching the buckles and it's just really fun to kind of play with. And so opening up the bag, what's cool about this bag is that it can be used as a top loader, but you know, that can get a little annoying, especially when you have the bag full all the way to the top, you know, it can be very difficult to reach something here at the bottom. So the way that Boundary Supply has chose to mitigate that is they've included this awesome zipper here that allows the bag to open almost like a duffel bag. And so it's nice how low that zipper actually goes. And so at the top, it has this clip here that you can loosen up that helps keep the zipper in place. And then the zipper itself has, a, again, another nice water guard. It really feels like it's gonna help keep your items protected. And then you can just open the bag up nice and wide and you can easily see everything that's in the bag all at once. And so I was really, I was really happy with just how easily I was able to fit and organize everything that I needed to into the bag. You know, at 25 liters, it has more than enough space. Um, just diving into the items themselves, what I currently have here is my Beat Solo Wireless 2. And then I have the Power Packer which is where I keep all my cables and dongles and styluses and things like that. And so because I use the power packer, that's why when I showed the field space, it was kind of empty. I didn't have anything in there. I typically would just want to use something like this. So moving on, I also have a full-size Moleskine notebook here. Then I also have a few books that I've been reading. So I'm reading Start With The Why still. It's taken me a while to get through the book, but it's been great so far. And then I have another textbook here that I've been using to kind of brush up on some skills for work. And so as you can see, I fit a lot in the bag very comfortably. There's still leftover space. I like that the bag itself also has this nice kind of extra sleeve here for you know documents. What I currently have here is my folder just to hold papers and receipts and things like that. And then I also have my Levitate portable standing desk, which I love carrying with me on my day to day. And I really like that this sleeve is elevated off the ground. So if you needed to use this for a tablet or something like that, even though the sleeve itself isn't padded, it's nice that your, your items wouldn't be touching the ground directly. So it still adds a little bit of protection there. And it's nice and elastic too. So if you have to put something a little bit bulkier, it'll, it'll definitely fit in there. Maybe even a pair of shoes if you're using the bag for traveling. And you know, so this main compartment is just kind of like a big open space, but I really do like that the company included a few internal organizational options. So here on one of the flaps, it's kind of this meshy, stretchy compartment here. It's seems like it'd be really good for a bulkier item. So what I currently have in here is my Blue Pot portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank combination. And that fits in there really nicely. And I just like that this pocket is pretty deep. It's pretty flexible in what you can use it for. And it's nice that it stretches a good amount. I do wish that the compartment had maybe a magnet closure or even a zipper because it feels like when you put the bag down, items could slide out but it's not that big of a deal. I haven't noticed a huge problem with it yet, and it still makes the bag, it still makes the compartment very easy to access. On the other flap of the bag, there's just an additional zippered compartment here. Nothing too big, but a nice area for smaller accessories. So what I currently have here is my Utec wireless charger for my phone. 
and that fits in there very nicely. But this is just another nice kind of catch-all pocket. You can put cables, pens, pencils in here, um, you know, maybe some snacks. So again, really nice to just have that zippered area to kind of add a little bit of separation and organization to this large internal compartment. And so because this bag has the capacity to expand from 25 to 30 liters, I was very curious about what it would be like to use this for a quick trip. And I have to say, it's pretty capable. I was able to fit my larger double-sided packing cube that you've seen in some of my other travel videos in here very comfortably. And that takes up a good amount of the capacity of the bag. And so because of the way that the flap folds over the bag, it's a little bit limiting in, in how you can use all the space that the bag has to offer. So the items I was able to fit in the bag and still close it was the double-sided packing cube with a pair of Toms was the combination that I found worked for me the best. So if I was going to travel with this, I would try to fit everything in this double-sided packing cube as opposed to having two packing cubes like I sometimes do. And then have my pair of Toms or maybe even my DOP kit in there. And then that would be probably the most that I would be able to use. So you know, even though this would be pretty good for a weekend trip or something like that, it doesn't hold as much as I expected for a 30 liter bag. So bags like the Timbuktu Blink Pack or the Nomadic Travel Pack, you know, were able to hold my packing cube, my DOP kit, and some shoes very easily. And they're pretty similar in size, so it's interesting that, you know, even though the bag has the capacity, because of the way that it closes at the top, it's a little bit limited in how much you can actually fit in here. So not a, not a huge deal overall, and if you're just using it for a short trip, it should be more than okay. But because of the 30 liter capacity, I would have expected it to hold a little bit more, so I was just a little bit disappointed at that. But overall, the main compartment still works great. I love kind of this wide opening and all the internal organization that it offers and I definitely loved using this as a day-to-day -day bag. And so the last item I want to talk about is the Verge case. So this is a removable case that the company includes with the Prima system. It's primarily meant to hold your camera and maybe a lens or two. And for that purpose, it works really well on the inside. It has a really soft fleece lining that we've seen in other parts of the bag. It has these removable dividers that you can kind of, you know, configure based on your needs. So you can actually attach the Verge case to the inside of the bag and you know have it be part of the main compartment so if you're carrying a lot of camera gear and you want it easily accessible you can actually attach this and then you can access the verge case through the side zipper that we looked at earlier in the video and it's really cool how that's implemented using the buttons here the top of the verge case attaches to the side access compartment so that once you unzip it opens the whole thing and you can quickly reach in and grab your camera or whatever you have in there if you have you know a drone or a gopro or something like that it's very easy to access and it's nice to have that extra bit of protection and organization for your camera. One thing I don't like about the Verge case is that it takes up a lot of space out of the main compartment. So if you have this in there, there's not a lot of space for other things that you might want to carry. So I wouldn't be able to carry the Verge case with all my other daily accessories inside the backpack. On top of that, I don't like that the Verge case creates a weird gap here with the bottom of the bag. So you're not able to use, you know, some of the capacity when the Verge case is attached on the inside. So, you know, it's really nice that you can remove it and then it doesn't become a problem. Or if you carry a lot of camera gear and this is important to you, it's nice that you can actually attach it in there and use it. But it's also super nice how you can actually, again, like with the field space, you can just detach this and you can leave it at home if you don't want to use it. Or you can also detach this and you can detach the waist strap that we looked at earlier and actually turn this into a nice little shoulder bag that you can use to carry your camera camera or you know carry a water bottle as I've done here so you can you can actually detach this and use it as a shoulder bag to carry your camera or any other accessories that you want to carry with you the verge space itself has a nice little quick access zippered pocket on the top for smaller accessories or a wallet or something like that and then it also has kind of these clips at the bottom similar to the bag where you could maybe attach a sweater or a tripod as well and then on top of that the verge case itself expands to give you a little bit more capacity if you're trying to carry a few additional items besides your camera or if you just want to use this as a you know day-to-day -day bag when you're out and about in the city as you can see here i've actually put a water bottle just for size comparison but you know this would be great for holding a good amount of stuff the strap itself is very comfortable so it'd be very easy to wear on your shoulder on your day-to-day -day as you're walking around and exploring and so i just really love how Boundary Supply tried to make everything very multi-purpose and I love how versatile this little case is and the, and the fact that you can remove it if you don't want to use it, you can just leave it at home. And I just love that, you know, it's included with the bag at its price. So it's, you know, the company is really just trying to provide value and allow, you know, their customers to use the bag however they want to. One last thing to note, it has these little loops here that would allow you to actually wear this on your belt if you wanted to use it almost like a fanny pack or something or if you wanted to quickly grab your camera while it was on your belt. So I thought that was really cool and it's just nice the versatility that is offered with this with this accessory. And so I really love just how well implemented all these different accessories were. I love the modularity of the bag and I really love how capable the backpack was on its own just for use as a daily bag or a camera bag. 
So overall, I really enjoyed using the Boundary Supply backpack as well as the entire Prima system. I've been, I've been really impressed as I've been using the bag, just all the little details that Boundary Supply kind of thought of as they were putting this whole system together. Everything just works so great. Uh, the quality of the bag is awesome. It has so many unique little features that separate it from a lot of the other bags that I've taken a look at. And I just think it's a great deal overall. So you can purchase the Prima system on Boundary Supply's site for about $220. I was able to get this for $200. They were running some sort of a sale when I purchased it. But the normal price of the bag on their site is about $220. And I have to say, I think this is a really reasonable price for the bag. I was truly impressed at how much value the bag had to offer. You know, as I was using the bag, I was constantly impressed by just how well made the bag is, the quality materials that it uses, and just the different features and accessories that it came with. You know, I was really shocked that at that price point, the bag had such a great build quality and that it also included the different accessories that it came with that we looked at in the video, like, you know, the Verge case for holding your camera and to just use while you're walking around during the day, as well as the little removable uh, kind of tablet sleeve with the pockets for your EDC essentials. And so I was just, again, impressed that, that the bag included all those accessories at that 220 price point. As I mentioned a few times throughout the video, uh, you know, I compared this bag a lot as I was testing it to the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. And you know, that's a great bag as well, but that bag's a little bit more expensive at $259 and it doesn't come with a lot of the accessories that the boundary system comes with. So, you know, overall, I just, I think this is a great value. I honestly enjoyed using this bag a little bit more than the Peak Design backpack. I think that the style of the bag just suits me a little bit better. I like kind of the latch mechanism that it has here. I think it's a little bit more useful. I also thought the bag was just a little bit more comfortable to wear. And on top of that, I just think it's a better value. As I mentioned, at that lower price, it also includes those awesome, you know, removable accessories that kind of really round out the system. So if you're curious about, you know, whether to get the Peak Design Everyday Backpack or the Boundary Supply, I strongly recommend you take a close look at the Boundary Supply Prima system. And if you have more specific questions about, you know, the specific differences that I noticed between the Peak Design and the Boundary Prima system, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be glad to dive into it in more detail if you guys have any curiosity about that. Another bag that this made me think about a lot was the Nomadic Travel Pack. You know, I've mentioned that so many times on this channel. We've featured it in multiple different videos, and it just continues to be kind of the standard that I hold a lot of these other bags to. And so this is probably the first bag that I've seen that, you know, as far as value and features, kind of compares to the Nomadic Travel Pack really well. They're both about $220. They're both super durable. They have tons of different pockets and features, and, you know, both companies really went out of their way to kind of provide a lot of value for the price. You know, depending on which accessories you, you think might be better for you, uh, both bags are gonna be a great deal and a great buy. I still think the Nomadic Travel Pack is gonna be better for traveling. When you expand the Nomadic Travel Pack out, it just has a lot more space to you know, travel for a few days or even a week or two. Whereas with the Prima system, you know, even though it's good for a quick trip, it just doesn't have quite as much space. But if your focus is more on photography, I definitely think that this bag is more suited for that. Um, and you know has much better features than the Nomadic Travel Pack can offer for keeping your camera gear safe and easily accessible. So both bags are really fantastic deals. I definitely recommend you take a look at both and which one you ultimately go with will depend on your needs. And so at $220, this bag is a good deal, but it's still a little bit of an investment. So if you kind of like this top loading style bag, uh, but you're looking to save a little bit of money and you don't really care as much about all the different bells and whistles that the bag has to offer, I might also recommend taking a look at a bag like the Burton Tinder Pack. You know, that's one of my favorite daily bags. I haven't actually featured that on the channel yet, but I'll probably be doing a video for that in the future at some point. And so just to wrap up, I was really impressed with the Boundary Supply Prima system. I think they did a great job of offering a lot of value and quality for the price. And if you're looking for a really capable daily bag or a really good camera bag, I definitely recommend you check the Prima system out. If you guys found this review useful, please go ahead and give us a like below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.